I am a turd. That was a really stunning. What he did there, impeccable. That last thing he did, I, I don't think a lot of people even know how to do that. It's scary to think that, that there are people that are that good that they know how to do that scatter arrow thing. It's like they're on a whole nother level and it's just scary, you know? I'm afraid of people who are that intelligent. Yo, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about another thing that's been a long time coming, and that's the scatter arrow. The longer the game has been out, the more we realize that there's lots of problems with it. Maybe not lots, but there's lots of little problems that could easily be fixed. It's just a matter of why don't they? And it would be foolish of me to sit here and say that Overwatch isn't on it with a lot of things. And today that thing just happens to be the goddamn retarded scatter arrow. It takes a lot of talent to do this. You have to be a really good player to do that. Shooting at the ground, not even at somebody's feet, literally shooting the floor, that is so hard to do, I don't even think that there are adults who can do that. I don't even think that the pro Genji player, FaZe Banks, knows how to do that. But yeah, today we're going to be talking about what I expected from the Scatter Arrow, what it currently is, and what it should be. To start, this is how the Scatter Arrow was booked. This is how it was demonstrated before the game even came out. With every death comes honor. With honor, redemption. Strike at the heart. Now, does anybody actually believe that that scatter arrow killed both of those people standing there? Just because Jeff Kaplan's a cheetah doesn't mean that the scatter arrow needs to be nerfed. Look, it actually did what happened in the thing after I meleeed you. It's as if they set it up to look like scatter arrows actually scatter. So that clip was recorded before I did a little bit of research, and I did a little bit of digging trying to figure out more about the scatter arrow, and I actually found out that the scatter arrow was nerfed on March 17th, 2016, and the patch for it was that the fragments will no longer be calculated as a headshot against an enemy player. So what that means is that the fragments that come from the scatter arrow, the actual scatter part of the arrow, will no longer headshot people. So in the following clip, that would explain why I'm not one-shotting them both. Oh, Justin, why'd you just debunk your own argument? Because, dumb dumb, it ties into the next one. I was blessed enough to be a 90s kid, and I got to experience some of the best games ever, even up until when I was like 12, you know, 15 years old and stuff like that. As a matter of fact, the first FPS game that I ever played was this game on PlayStation 3 called Resistance Fall of Man, and in that game it had an item called the Hedgehog, which... This is relevant because I thought that the Scatter Arrow was going to be like the Hedgehog upon when I had first saw that thing that he did there in the beta clip that we watched together. But instead, what we got in Overwatch with Hanzo Scatter Arrow is a one-shot device where you aim at somebody's feet because it makes the hitbox as large as it possibly can be and you get to one-shot almost every single character in the game. And if it's not a one-shot, it's a two-shot, as demonstrated here. And I killed you! <laughs> what is the point of me being able to just do this? And then, one shot. That no, no charge whatsoever, just one shot. Essentially what we have here is a way for bad players to be good at the game because a bad player, any bad player at that, can take a scatter arrow and one shot somebody, whereas a character like Widowmaker, a character that is so, so underrated that takes such a good amount of skill to play, is a lot harder to consistently one shot people, and still at that doesn't one shot every character in the game or two shot them. And don't even get me started on how Hanzo's recon arrow is literally Widowmaker's ult. It's just that he gets to use his more. Back on the topic of what I thought the Scatter Arrow was going to be in comparison to the Hedgehog, the Hedgehog was an item that was used in Resistance Fall of Man as a throwable, like a grenade. And the reason that weapon existed in its point was to clear out rooms, was to kill enemies that were bunched up in rooms, so that way they couldn't camp in there, and to do as much damage as you possibly could to a group of enemies. We can all agree that we all think that the Scatter Arrow is stupid. I'm sure that there's a lot of Hanzo mains out there who probably think that it's fine, and you know, that is what it is, it's whatever. There's always going to be people on either opposition, and I don't care, everybody has their own opinion, and they're entitled to it. But I would hazard to guess that the majority out there thinks that Scatter Arrows shouldn't be a pick weapon. And that leads me to what I'm expecting in the future when Blizzard does finally fix this, because I 100% believe that they are going to fix this. They are going to make it something that's more balanced, that's more team-based, and not more of, okay, here's something that anybody can do. Why not make Hanzo become a character where, if there's a point like Elios, the first part of Elios where it's the point is boxed in, why not have a character where you can shoot something like a scatter arrow in there, and you can hope that it will do a ton of damage to all the people in there? Why are we currently satisfied with the scatter arrow being more of a pile of shit arrow, where we're able to pile up all the arrows into one and kill people with them? It's not even really a scatter arrow. Take, for instance, this example. 
I got hit. I think Mercy did as well. Yeah, she got I hit. took 70. Yeah, I got Merc to 58. I have 330 health, so. There's five people in here. Nobody got hit by that. Here, I'm going to try from another angle. Is everybody at full health? Get back to full health. Yeah, we are. Look, it's a real game. Everybody's fighting in this room, and then I shoot a scatter in there, and it's supposed to clear the room out the way that they intended. There is nowhere to hide. Only Mercy got hit again. <laughs> <laughs> Here, well, I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to keep doing this. Like, see, it, like, the way that it should be is if... If it goes, like, anywhere in here, it should go, like, all around, and all of you should be getting hit by this. It's ridiculous that only two people are getting hit by this. Here, I'm going to try it again. Oh, I got hit. That was it. So, to finish this all off with, two things. I quite like the idea that the Scatter Arrow could do a lot more damage. I think, honestly, bear with me, bear in mind... I'm not God. I'm not a developer of the game. I don't know everything. This is just my hot take on the whole scenario. I think that, one, the Scatter Arrow should do a lot more damage. Maybe not a lot, but maybe just a tiny little bit more damage. Maybe bring it back so it does headshots again. And two, I think that you should not in any way be able to control the amount of pileage, so to speak, if that is a word or not, the arrows have. You shouldn't be able to make the fragments all pile up into one and just be able to pick off people like one at a time. It should be in a radius that goes in a radius. Like it, it should be like an area of effect type of meme, like the hedgehog, where it goes up, down, left, and to the right, and everything in that 360 degree radius. I think that with a little bit of thought and a little bit of moderation that the developers could easily figure this out. And something like the hedgehog would be really great, but I can also see why it would be a little bit overpowered. So that's where I'm going to pass the whole topic off to you guys down there in the comment section. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the idea of a hedgehog-esque type of scatter arrow would be better? Are you guys just happy with the scatter arrow? What do you think? Also, I'd like to say a good thank you to the posse. That's what I call my community on my channel here. My posse. Love you guys. Because you guys answered the Call of Duty because all I got to do is tweet it out or say something in my Discord group about needing help recording something. You guys are always there to help me when I need it. Another huge show of gratitude towards my posse is that you guys have been helping me average a thousand likes per video and that's fucking awesome. I never thought I'd be able to do something like that. So let's give yourselves a pat on the back and let's keep that momentum going. So... It would really help me out if you guys would all smash that motherfucking like button. And yeah, as always, I'm Justin, and you're not. Comment down below what you thought about the whole video, and what you think about Scatter Arrows. And I know this is kind of a weird video to be coming from me, because I'm more about the laughs and the good times and stuff like that. So, don't worry, stuff like that is coming in the future. I've also got this really huge video that's planned, and it'll be coming out in like... A month, month or two, something like that. But it's going to be huge. It's going to be fucking epic. It's going to be the biggest video that I make on my channel, period. And that's all I'm going to say about that because I'm getting way too excited just thinking about it. Uh, yeah. Love you guys. Like the video. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Subscribe. And uh, yeah. Love you. See ya.